Hey, how's it going? What you're looking at here is a six prong wild ginseng plant. I had uh, found this back in 1999 on my uh, home farm where I grew up in west central Wisconsin. And this plant here, as far as rarity, I have looked on the internet and you know looked around off and on through the years and you rarely if ever see anything you know like this I have a quarter down here that I'm using as a comparison on the bottom of that poster board but I'm happy that I had uh, took the time and actually dried and shellacked this the top to it and put it on this you know in this poster frame but as far as the root you know, of course, I had sold that. I don't really remember how much it weighed, but I know it was uh, well north of 40 years old, the root itself. But this plant, as you can see here, there's six, six stems coming off, you know, with five leaves on each. But you're looking at, like, here's number one, and there's number two with five leaves. In number three with five leaves, four with five leaves on it, and then five with five leaves, and then on the other side is the sixth one with five leaves. But a total of 30 leaves on this one plant, just the humongous plant, and one of the unique things about it was the seed pod where the berries in that was when I found it there was had to have been at least 60 berries on this one plant and that was actually the only reason why I found it it was nestled in uh, on a steep might as well say a cliff where there was a little depression by some uh, sandstone rocks on an outcropping and it was kind of tucked up in there it was very hard it, it, it's almost impossible to find the thing any angle you want at it and plus it was so steep you wouldn't even want to go up there but the reason why I worked my way up to it was finding plants at the bottom of the valley and I kept going basically up in a straight line and finding them more and more as I went up and I hit on this seed and it was uh, just shocking that it was actually uh, sitting there and I suppose it got missed by quite a few people through the years but um I wanted to share that with you guys and you know ladies that do a lot of extensive ginseng hunting and know quite a bit about it it was a, a extreme rarity to find it and I'm happier in hell that I actually uh, took the time to put it in a board because I'll probably have this forever you know once the actual pigments and everything were bled out of it it hasn't really aged any so if I probably keep it out of the sunlight it'll be around forever but um, I wanted to put this on YouTube just to show people that there are six prongers out there and how rare, just how rare they are they can be found but as far as they like said I've read read that one guy I had seen one once in a fur fish and game magazine from a long time ago and once in a while you see oddities where they have triple deckers and stuff like that but I really don't think there's very many if any six prongers that I know of that anybody's found um, it's a pretty unique plant and I guess that's why I'm putting it on there pretty neat and if there's people out there that have found them you know write and let me know that way uh, maybe I won't feel quite so special with this plant but it's actually kind of I guess proud of it I mean I had nothing to do with growing it or anything but to stumble on it is like uh, maybe trying to find a 20 leaf clover or something found quite a few five prongers and stuff like that but one other thing about this plant when I found it you know, right in amongst it, there was a little small area was just loaded with, you know, other plants and that. But uh, I'm surprised it didn't choke itself off with disease with the, you know, amount of berries and stuff and other uh, offspring growing from it. But 
was a good find and I wanted to take time to show that to you guys.